You guys, I bought a van. I'm Parker Brewer, and I travel the roads less taken. Follow along as I go way off the beaten path. So, I bought a van, it's a Ford 2001 Econoline E150. It has like 260 something miles on it, so it's a pretty high mileage, but you know, I was looking for something that was gonna get me around for the next couple years, and um, the cool thing about this engine is it's actually a really um, strong, reliable engine. No timing belt, so the timing belt doesn't break. It's got a timing chain, which is kind of awesome. Um, transmission seems good. It does have an oil leak, I'm gonna figure out. And it's got a wheelchair lift in the back, but uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna sell the wheelchair lift, use some of that money to kind of put into building the van. So yeah, let's take a little quick tour around the van and see what's going on. La ta da! So, there she is. I have this random ass wheelchair lift in here, but that should fetch some good amount of money actually. So I've looked to see what they're worth and it should fetch some good amount of money. It still works. Took the cover off the machine to kind of see what was going on in there. So yeah, here's the cover of the machine. So, that's the van. It is beat up inside. Just beat up inside. But, it's basically a blank canvas. So I'm going to probably tear out most of the upholstery um, from kind of the window down, and probably from the top of the window down. I wanna hold on to those cool wood accents, cause I think that we can do something with that. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of all of the chairs and put in new chairs or new seats because I want to do swivel seats. Um, but again, all this is kind of going to be down the road. I think the first step is to get a floor in it, get all that stuff out and get a floor in it and then put a bed and uh, get that down the road. But I mean, step number one is to get this behemoth out of here um, so that I have some extra space some floor space we got to get rid of this thing it does work super fun um i might play with it later on but yeah that's where it's at so yeah that's the van so far um i think i'm gonna kind of be trying to do a couple vi uh, van like build updates as we go still weekly vlogs though the goal is to eventually start kind of transitioning into like two or three times a week vlogging or if i can really pull it off i know i'm struggling right now with like just once a week because of the covid stuff but i'd like to get to a point where i'm vlogging daily um, so that's kind of the goal and one of the things that this van is going to help me achieve. Um, stick around, we're going to do some build stuff. Uh, this episode we're probably going to work on getting the wheelchair lift out and then um, get a floor in and then I'm going to start working on design stuff for the bed and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll show you some of the design plans I've got so far. They're like super rudimentary but they're kind of basic concept ideas anyway. And so yeah. All right, y'all, so step one of this whole process is gonna be trying to get this freaking wheelchair out, wheelchair lift out. So we're gonna try to get that out today. Um, it looks like it's bolted onto the undercarriage chassis thing. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be interesting. to get it out here where we can close the doors and go one. It might not be that heavy. It, I don't think it is. I watched a YouTube video where he did the same thing and he just like him and his friend picked it up from the ground and put it in his oh. pickup truck. Okay. Okay. Cool. We got the thing unbolted and now we're debating about how to get it out of the van. I think we just got to tip it over until it comes out and like hope it doesn't fall on someone. But we're going to find out. It's kind of starting to rain on us too so I don't really know how this is going to work. I might have to put the camera away and give you all like an update after the fact. We'll see. I'm going to test some stuff out.
shuffling today. We've been like very engrossed in trying to get these things taken apart. Rio is dirty as all get out. He has been like with his hands just three feet underneath the vehicle pulling at stuff. It's pretty crazy. Um, mostly just shooting with my phone today. It wasn't worth getting the camera out. Um, but we're gonna, I'll show you what we've done now here. You see, so there used to be a wheelchair locking mechanism like back in there um, that is up against the wall there now. And so we pulled that out. The wheelchair lift came out yesterday, knocked down the chair. We're gonna have to take the seatbelt off and pull that out next. That's the next thing. But that's kind of what we're doing today is trying to get it all ready. I think we're gonna take the carpet out after that, try to get it all ready to uh, put the floor in maybe tomorrow and uh, take it on a test trip this next week or so. So yeah, my hair is like just wild, but we're working hard over here, so. started misfiring when I took it out for a test drive uh, yesterday and so Rio is back in town today and we are uh, replacing all the spark plugs and uh, very different this is a clean spark plug the other spark plug does not look like this it is like rusted out it's all uh, dirty I'm gonna grab a shot for you later on um, but it's nasty so that's what we're doing here and then hopefully we're gonna be done with this part this first video here and we're going to take it out on a test trip uh, in the next couple weeks here or something like that. Alright, so it feels a little bit like this video needs kind of a conclusion because it feels like it's been a whole lot of just pieces thrown together to give you an idea, and that's really what it was, a whole lot of just doing a lot of little things to get the van to a point where it could be built on. Um, one thing that happened that we didn't really expect and kind of put a uh, pause on our test testing out plans, our test trip, um, was that the engine developed a, an engine uh, misfire, and um, after replacing the spark plugs, the engine was still misfiring, which means that the next step is to replace the fuel injectors. Now, given that school and stuff are starting back up, my brother Rio, who is the one who kind of knows about cars and stuff like that, he's getting back started with his senior year of college, and uh, so he's been really busy the last week or two. So um, we're going, we're gonna kind of take a pause on the mechanical step, and I'm gonna continue building out the back of the van. So that's gonna be the next episode. Um, is gonna be kind of adding the floor, adding the um, bed. I think um, we're gonna kind of build things like that up. There are definitely some things that seem to be more complicated than I thought they were. I know I said I'd show you some plans, but I um, am tweaking everything a little bit, so I'm not really ready to show you anything yet on that. But anyway, stay tuned. There's more van content coming in the next couple months here for sure, um, as I kind of also work on some other weekly vlogging stuff. So um, I'm going to be really excited. If y'all haven't uh, subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and following me along on my adventures. Um, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, and uh, I'll see y'all next week.